Odds of dying of cancer are one in seven. Heart disease, one in six. Lightning strike, one in 180,000. So what are your chances of dying from coronavirus? So you have a one in 100 chance of not surviving that infection. Now, of course, that risk is higher if you're in a high risk group, but do you really want to expose yourself to a 1% chance? According to the National Safety Council, those are about the same odds of dying in a car crash or from an opioid overdose. But according to the Knox County Health Department, one in 100 odds of dying of COVID-19 is way too big. The likelihood of somebody dying from COVID-19 is very, very low. The likelihood of them even going to the hospital for COVID-19 is very, very low. Part of why it's hard to calculate overall odds of dying of the virus is because there are so many factors that play in. You have to catch the virus before you can die from it. It's contagious, but so is the flu. We always have to remember that we have a flu vaccine. What we don't want is to have a bad flu season and a COVID-19 resurgence at the same time. The latest CDC data shows in Tennessee, more people died from the flu in 2017 than have died from coronavirus this year. That doesn't mean you shouldn't take it seriously. It's really not a fair comparison. Um, you know, our, our COVID-19 deaths, deaths are only five at this time. Um, so it's really, there's no way to compare it to anything else. So take it all with a grain of salt. Numbers keep changing. Shannon Smith, 10 News.